we're going to make the caramel sauce first. And we have a caramel. We have um, just watch that so it starts to turn a golden brown. But sure. to make the caramel very easy, one cup of sugar and one tablespoon of water. And don't stir. I just sort of swirl it around and turn the heat on. And oops, there we go. And let the sugar melt into the water, okay? Mm. And don't stir, and then cover. As soon as it starts to melt, cover it, and the steam will rise up the sides of the pan, fall down, and you won't get any crystals. See how crystal free this one is? That looks delicious. Yes. And so it's just starting to darken. The minute it gets to the desired caramel color, now if you're gonna make caramel apples, you'd make the same thing. Uh, but you'd add a little corn syrup at the end so that it stays a little saucy. You don't break your teeth when you bite into the apple. Yeah, you that's know. key. Yes, very key. But this is a caramel sauce, so it's kind of creamy and soft mm -hmm. and delicious, hot or cold. And it's one of those things that if you have in your refrigerator and you have a spoon, watch out. Because it's the kind of thing you go to, like hot fudge. Oh, it's very bad to have it in your refrigerator. Oh, or, bad, bad for or, me. Or condensed milk. Do you know condensed milk, how good yes. that is? Yeah, don't have that in your refrigerator either. <laughs> no, those are, little, those are little snacks that are delicious. Now see how beautiful, that, that's the right color, okay? So turn your um, gas off. Don't pour it in with the fire going, and then add heavy cream. This is what's going to make this Oh. the beautiful caramel sauce wow. that you dream about, okay? And that's one cup of heavy cream. Just stir that in, and now that it has cream in it with all that butter fat, it will not get stiff and hard and crackly. This will stay nice and malleable. So that's your sauce. Now the apples, you have a knife, okay? Now cut the top off. This is what you're gonna use, make a little apple cup. Just a little bit, and if you want, take a tiny bit off the bottom just so that the apple will not roll when it's on the plate. Okay. And then use um, a uh, apple, um, this little scoop, um, it's a melon baller, but you can use that just to scoop out the middle of the apple. You have to make it a hole big enough for a scoop of ice cream and get that core out of it because you wanna be able to eat the rest of the apple, the apple dish that you're making but you don't want to make a hole in the bottom because you want you don't want the ice cream to drip out if it starts to melt, you know oh. what I mean? You're making a bowl, basically. Looks like you're, you're beating me there. Pardon? I have some more digging to go. Oh, yeah. Well, make it exactly the same thickness everywhere, just to make it hard on you. <laughs> you want it to be a pretty bowl, as if it were made by Limoges. <laughs> An apple bowl. <laughs> I think all the time, I always think about what should it look like? And you want it to be, you know, just the same thickness, all uniform. How's yours? Doing um, well? I, I think, I think it's, it's coming along. Excellent. <laughs> and anyway, you know what? You won't see anything because you're gonna fill it with ice cream. It's true, so and I'm gonna eat the whole thing anyway, That's so. That's right, that's right, okay. Now, if you are making these a little bit ahead of time, you can brush with a little bit of lemon juice. Oh, you have to get those seeds out because you don't want to eat those. Yeah. I will not let you leave seeds in it. Just brush that with lemon juice. Oh, and there, we go. there. Okay, perfect. Now take your just a little, yeah. And now take your ice cream. You have one for one for you and one for me. Now, this is if you're making it tonight. If you're making it tomorrow night, you have to make the ice cream tonight. So there, one scoop of ice cream, or two or three if you want. Put the apple on your plate. Mm. Pour a little bit of this fantastic caramel syrup on top. Oh, this looks so good. Oops, there. You can Thank you. put yours on. And you can put a tiny bit of sea salt right on top if you like. I love salty caramel. So do I. Okay, and if you want pecans, you can put pecans on top. If you want walnuts, you can do walnuts. And this is your apple sundae.